Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Greg Kerr. Thank you so much for joining us. Five months after a Port Arthur man was murdered, a 20-year-old has turned himself in for the murder of Marcus Big Country Senegal. Senegal, a 30-year-old from Port Arthur, was gunned down at the Old School Lounge in Port Arthur in the early morning hours of March 30th. Several other people were hurt in the gunfight. A second exchange of gunshots happened at the Prince Hall Apartments a little while later. In June, Keenan Anderson, a 20-year-old Port Arthur man, was indicted for the murder. A multi-state search was issued, and today, Anderson turned himself in. KFDM's Justin Hinton joins us in the studio with how Senegal's mother reacted when she heard the news. Justin? Greg, Warnett Senegal showed me a picture taken one week before he died. In it, he's pictured with all of his kids. So when we knocked on her door and told her police had a suspect in custody for his murder, one word summed up how she felt. Relieved. <sighs> a sigh of relief echoes across Warnett Senegal's Port Arthur porch. She's one step closer to finding out why someone shot and killed her son, Marcus John, big country Senegal. My family's never going to come in the full circle now because I'm going to always have that one missing. Port Arthur police say this man, 20-year-old Keenan Novan Anderson, pulled the trigger and fired the bullet that struck and killed Senegal. Uh, we knew about where he was at a couple of times. We were just minutes behind him. Uh, he's been on the move. I mean, he looks like an exhausted man. Eventually, Anderson turned himself in. Anything you want to say? Before heading off to the Jefferson County Jail. Others may have been involved in, in subsequent things that happened to it, but we believe that Marcus Senegal was killed by Keenan Anderson. That's our belief at this point. They got it. And I'm, I'm so thankful to God it didn't take a year or more to get him, but I mean, they need to realize there are consequences to pay for everything you do. Senegal knows Anderson will receive a trial, but she says she's relieved at what has been done so far and hopeful that others will learn from what she's gone through, putting an end to the violence once and for all. If anything, it's all about them. You're not going to be there for his, but you ask yourself if you want to be there for you. <laughs> Senegal is hopeful everyone will listen to that message so they won't have to go through something similar. Reporting live in the studio, Justin Hinton, 6 News Tonight.